So here we are after a, a week's worth of work in a dumpster. That same bathroom just cleaned out. Put a new toilet in there. Put new plumbing. Vanity's not in bad shape. Give it some love and bring it back to life. This guy. Bedroom. Carpet's still good in here. We got the vent caps. So the breaker panels are always in the master bedroom. Well, I shouldn't say always, but majority of the time they're in the master bedroom. Here's mine. Nice shape. It's actually in great shape. Hole is right outside the door. There's the main breaker, and that's where the power comes in the street. Pretty straightforward. Here's that other bedroom, nicely cleaned out. Just needs a little vent cap. Closet door works. Need to put something in there. Here's that living room. Definitely gonna need to do some work here. So this is what happens when the windows are left open or missing in this case. You got some studs that are running vertically down these walls obviously and then there's a horizontal one that runs underneath the window there. And there's no way that you can replace this window without doing all that work. And uh, it's not a big deal, but it's just something that, you know, you definitely want to look at. Uh, if the paneling was still on it and you wanted to see if the structure was uh, strong, the trick is to kind of put your hip up against the base of it and push. And obviously this one's nice and soft, but this other one's good and firm. So I know that the one on the right is fine by pushing my hip up against this corner here and this corner here where the bases are. So that's a good little trick to know when you're shopping for mobile homes. This one looks good. Just need some new paneling here. And the ceiling is also huge. So this ceiling is in really great shape. Um, it's a real trouble to replace the ceiling. So you definitely wanna make sure that that's in good shape. Cause flooring is not a big deal with ceiling and roof, uh, it's gonna cost money and time. So here's the kitchen. I'll have to get some cabinet doors and maybe some drawers here. New stove, looks like a new faucet. And sink's not in bad shape, it's still there. Um, all these cabinets still have the doors, so they look good. Um, windows look good, so the bathroom's in good solid shape. Just needs a little floor vent and a little TLC. Missing the back door. Here's the back door, so I'll measure that out and replace it. Here's the back of the property. This is a uh, big pile of stuff that is removed. And so here's unit one. Also missing the back door, and I'm gonna. Take you to unit two. So here's unit two, and it had this is one pressure wash. I didn't do it because I wouldn't erase that, but I'll do it the second time until I get done right. And here we are. I got a door, but I'm missing the knob. And, oh. So this place was loaded. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it without all the stuff in it so here we are master bedroom and this is a good one because it's got drywall already on the walls it's always preferred and i said before breaker panel is almost always in the master bedroom and here's mine looks like it's in good shape still got all its lines from what i can see of course you never know when you get underneath and I'm two for two on the uh, back of the tub being 
missing the drywall. So we'll have to put some paneling in there. Some funny little shelves over here. Windows look great. It's always a plus. Got a funny cage going on in this one, but all in all, this room looks great. Got a door. Got the door in the bathroom, so let's check out the bathroom here. It's a nice long vanity. Tub. Second bedroom. Looks like we have some mold and rot on that windowsill to take care of. Hole in the window need to be replaced. Flooring. This is the vinyl sheeting flooring. If you're ever curious, the ceiling does not look good in this bedroom, so that will need to be addressed. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of funny here. So this looks like it's the original vinyl sheeting, and then they had this at one short period of time, and then added this to the kitchen. And when they added this to the kitchen, they used that one piece as the threshold. That's very creative. So here's our kitchen. be done in here. Some of these cabinets might get removed if they can't get refurbished. And the pantry, and some showing and some sanding, and the living room. So the living room is good because it's already got the vinyl sheeting adhesive floor removed. And you can just see it's just the plywood and over here is where I really want to show you the before because this is the before those studs that I was telling you about in the other trailer here's what it looks like underneath so it's pretty simple I mean on these mobile homes you have the drywall the studs and the aluminum sheeting on the outside and in between there is the uh, insulation so this is the before. Windows need to be replaced. Ceiling looks good though. Ceiling looks great in the living room. And in the kitchen. So there's the before part two.